My favorite coffee is the coffee that I make for myself and for my family. And uh, it's from bean to cup, and it's an, a dark roasted bean, and we make latte, basically. I've been asked this question before, and I think that having thought of it on many occasions, I would say no. If I knew what I was doing, I wouldn't have done it. So I think you have to accept that um, what I did was right and it was right for the time and it was just what I could manage, et cetera, et cetera. If it was any bigger than that, I probably wouldn't have been as successful. It would have been a problem. I don't really have one, to be honest. Uh, I think I'm delighted to see the parkrun community grow. And uh, there are some really incredible ones like the Falklands Islands, you know. Um, but, you know, in terms of destinations, we've got New Zealand, Australia, Singapore, Malaysia, you name it, uh, incredible places. South Africa, a world in a country. And then America and Canada. Canada, I've never been. So if you said to me, I could have one on the Seychelles, you know, I'd probably say, well, yeah, okay, so what? Uh, we've, got, we've got incredibly beautiful, wonderful communities all around the world and there's so much to still experience. Yes. Or I'd be a little old 60 year old working in the computer industry, waiting for retirement, desperate to get out of the rut that I was in. Um, now, I, long before Parkrun, I used to think about what it would mean to grow old and grow old in the industry that I was in. And, I, you know, I, I anticipated a lot of stress, a lot of uh, some quite a lot of good things too but a lot of hardship in terms of keeping that going with my keeping my interest going and all those sorts of things um, but I had no idea that I would ever achieve a retirement age I thought I'd probably have to work throughout my life and, and so on so uh, delighted really that Parkrun did come when it came and that I've been a part of it and that I will continue to be a part of it for the rest of my life.